Hey, there is something I wanted to address real quick, and that is that I'm seeing a lot of comments that talk about the genetic stuff, race stuff, things like that, that are very unnatural in Judaism, is to speak about genetics and ethnical origins and things like that, right? The Judaism saw itself as a religion that is open to many different races and whoever is willing to adopt the values, the core values of Judaism is welcome to our religion and our way of life and to be part of our nation and be part of this family. It has nothing to do with necessarily being born a Jew. Being born a Jew helps because you grow up with those values since birth. And the reason we are fighting with the Palestinians or the Arabs or whatever is not because there is a genetical claim that we have and they don't have. In, in reality, we're pretty similar genetically. And more than that, I can tell you that one of the biggest challenges, unless people are wearing religious garment is to be even be able to tell who is Jewish and who is Muslim and who is Christian. That's how similar everybody looks here, okay? You cannot tell by looks who is Arab and who is uh, Jewish. There is just no way, okay? And there are certain, certain populations where you can tell. For example, you can tell certain sects from that are clearly let Soviet Russian people that came with the Jews who are mostly Christian and they don't look like anything here. And just looking at them, I can tell that they are not even Jewish, right? They are not Arabs, but they are not Jewish either. And it, those people are more easy to distinguish. And the other population that is a bit more easily distinguished are the Bedouins. They do look a little bit different, but even then, let me tell you, when I did uh, my service, I, we had a week where we had to defend um, a Jewish village near the Egyptian border, and we were told to question anyone that looks Bedouin, and it took us about one hour to go back to the security council and said, how do we know who is Bedouin and who is Jewish? They all look the same, like the Bedouins and the Jews. And they was like, yeah, you're right. And also you need to let in the Bedouins as well because they come here to do some shopping. So who exactly are we supposed to question if they're entering this Jewish village? And they're like, I don't know. Just look at them and see if they look like they have bad intentions. All right. The reason we are in fighting with the Arabs is not because they are genetically different or ethnically different or uh, inferior, superior, whatever to us, right? I've studied with many Arabs in university. They are smart people. They are very capable people. They did great in engineering school and we, I did homework and assignments with many, many, you know, Jews uh, with Druze and with Jews and with Christians and with Muslims and there is no difference in their abilities no matter if their religion. The thing we're fighting for is the values that we have. The reason I'm not saying that I am supporting a Palestinian state because I don't want to live as a woman in a Palestinian state because I know I would be a second class citizen, I would have no rights and I could be murdered for the most trivial things for looking the wrong way at the boy or something like that, which I'm seriously not interested at. So this is why we're fighting. It's not even Arabic or music. You'd be surprised, but Israelis love Arabic music, Jews love Arabic music, they love listening, and vice versa. You'd hear Arabs listening to Israeli music and Hebrew music all the time, and we would both blast those musics. Uh, and it's even hard to tell if the person riding the car and listening to music out loud, are they Arab or are they Jewish? Even that wouldn't be uh, so easy, believe me. Even my own family, we were, and my cousins were listening to music <laughs> and they were uh, approached by this uh, Palestinian family and they were like, uh, uh, be, like being embarrassed for blasting out music out loud. And then they were like, oh, you shouldn't be embarrassed. We are Arabs too. And my cousins are like, 
we're not Arabs. Anyway, but it's funny, they told them, and I was like, wait, did they talk to you in Arabic? They were like, no, they said we are Arabs in Hebrew. This is not the issue. Stop talking about race and genetics. It's stupid. It's not what the Jews are talking about. We don't care about your skin color. We don't care about the skin color of a Jew in front of us. It's very... The, the only times we care about genetics and when two Ashkenazi Jews or two Ethiopian Jews or whatever get married is... First of all, Ethiopian Jews is very critical because they have to have at least seven generations of separation to get married. They are very pretty strict about it. And Ashkenazi Jews, they want to take genetic tests because it's, it can be heavy. And, you know, it's very common here to take genetic tests before having children just so to make sure there isn't anything hereditary. This is where genetics come into play here. Stop using that card. It's not interesting. Even if all the Jews here are Khazars and all the Arabs here are from South Africa originally, doesn't matter. What matters and what we're fighting for and we're, what the disagreements that we have are on the value systems that we have okay they have a mafia hamula based society where the strong ones are the right ones and there have no laws that apply on them because they can do whatever they want versus our societies where all people are supposed to live by the law and have equally and there is a lot more freedom and a lot less many things that are rotten Okay, even though that we have those two, and when it comes to places where we have that too, that you see, we oppose it from the inside as much as we oppose it anywhere else, except they have it million times more in their societies because it's ingrained into their value system that is effed up. And this is why we're fighting, and this is why there is war, not because they are genetically different, or we are genetically this, or this, or that. No. Okay? A lot of people here, I'm sure, have uh, and in the greater Middle East have genetics that are also Jewish. But if you don't have the Jewish value system, then I don't care that you have 50% genetic genome, okay? If it makes you start questioning and looking for and understanding Jewish tradition and understanding Jewish values and you find yourself attracted to it, Alan was Alan. If you're not, you're not interested and you're just happen to be somewhat, you know, even 100% Jewish, but you're a communist or a wokeist in your soul, then I don't care that you're Jewish, okay? I prefer the Arab person that has proper values over a Jewish person that has effed up values, okay? It's just that traditionally in the Jewish mind, we're supposed to try to explain and to uh, bring back those Jews who don't understand the world. And also, to be honest, it's because being Jewish, uh, the, even though we don't care about race or genetics, the other other the world cares about it so they would chase those wokeists to communist jews and then blame us for them being wokeists and communists even though we're like that that's those are not our value system really like we have nothing i mean i mean it's um it happens you know mishaps happens and like happen like what a uh, black sheep in a good family happen what can we do you know okay and they're gonna get chased for their genetics even if they have the right brain or the right values but there were jews that were well, rarely yeah but there were jews that were nazis there were jews that believe in uh, and converted to christianity or whatever okay it's not about it it's not about genetics it's about what do you believe this is what we're fighting for okay i hope i made it clear and I hope I don't read many comments. I mean, you know what? Every time there is a comment about genetics, tell them that the heck who cares, okay? It's not about genetics. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. I have a buy me coffee link below if you want to guys. So if you guys want to support me and see you later. Thank you so much for watching.